guys, Rock and Monkey Time here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to edit a movie or edit a stop motion on an iMovie and how to like make the clips go faster than the 0.1 duration. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously go to your iMovie. You're going to go to the little plus sign right here. You're going to click on it. It's going to bring you up to say what, what kind of project you want to do. For stop motion, I always go with none for your theme. And you title it whatever you want. Since I'm working on a cooking stop motion, I'm going to title it Cooking American Girl Short Movie. And then you're going to click Create. And then it's going to say Drag Media here to create a new project. Sorry that it's not focusing. Okay, the next thing that you're going to do is open up iPhoto. It's crop funny, that way you guys can't see the photos of my family. And you're going to drag your photos in. My stop motion, I haven't finished it yet, so right now it's only 284 pictures. My stop motions are usually between 1,000 and 2,000 for like a one or two minute stop motion, depending how I want to make it. And then it will usually tell you how long it takes to make for them to add it in. Right now it's telling me, sorry that it's like not focusing. It says add stills, adding 284 stills to project, time remaining about 3 minutes. Okay, so I just finished adding all my photos. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to select all the photos by clicking on it and then you're going to press the shift button while you're like clicking on it. All the way down, while pressing shift, click on the very last one. Go, click on the little the little blue thing. You're going to go to the very last one that says cropping, can burns in rotation. Click on it. Click fit. Right here you guys see the fit button. It's not focusing, but the first button right there says fit. And then there's a blue button that says done. Click it. To go to Clip adjustments, I always do 0.1, but depending on who you are and how you make your stop motions, you might do different amounts. I do 0.1, which by the way on iMovie only plays 6 frames per minute. You're going to go to Share. You're going to go to Export using QuickTime. And that's going to load. And then you're going to save as whatever it was saved as. You're going to go, make sure it says movies right here. You're going to go to save. And then it's going to be exporting project. This part usually takes a long time. So I will get back to you guys once it is done exporting. Okay, the next step you guys are going to do is you guys are going to go to file. You guys are going to go all the way down to import. And it's going to show you guys these op options. You guys are going to go to movies. And you guys are going to go scroll down to you find the stop motion that you just worked on. This is the one I was working on, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to import it. Just click the import button right there. You're going to click on it and drag it all the way over. Use a little hand thing. And you're just going to add it to your project by dragging and dropping. I added it to a random part of my video because I'm just going to edit right here to show you guys. You're going to go then delete all the frames themselves from your stop motion. And then you have this thing that looks like a live video the way it is in. But it actually it is your stop motion. It is the stop motion I showed you guys earlier. Then you guys are going to go to clip adjustments. And you guys can adjust the speed. Keep in mind, iMovie only plays 6 frames per minute. So even when you double the speed to 200%, you're only playing 12 frames per each one. And I play between 12 and 30 frames per second, depending on what kind of stop motion I'm working on. I'm going to do 200% because I like to mess with it. So then you're going to click Done. Okay, here we go. It's much faster than before, if you guys remember that. walking and yeah that's basically how it goes this is the how you record your voices the voiceover so when you click on that you then go to 
anywhere. Oh, it still has your built-in microphone. Yeah. And then you click wherever you want to start your voice. Okay, so I'm going to start it. I'm going to be playing Brew right now. I'm going to say, okay. Wait, okay. Hi, I'm Brie, and welcome to my cooking show. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a brand new recipe. Yeah, I don't, that, that's not what I'm honestly going to say in the video, but now I'm going to play the video. The volume's on. Let me turn the volume on first. Sorry. Okay, here we go. And that is how you add voiceover. There are five little buttons down here. This one is for music. This one's to add photos. This one's to add titles, transitions, and whatever the last one's for I never use. But first, it will bring you to iTunes, and it will show you your list of iTunes music. My brother is obsessed with music. That's why our iTunes is overflowing. Mine only has One Direction and Katy Perry and stuff like that, but yeah. I go to iLife or iMovie sound effects and if I want footsteps or when she's walking I'm gonna search footsteps and it's gonna show me this here's what it sounds like you can't really hear it but then you what all you do is you drag and drop it into your stop motion I'm just gonna drop it right there and then you just play and that's your stop motion. There are tons of sound effects, both on iMovie sound effects and iLife. And they have these titles that you just, they're all different things. And like, let's just, I'm just gonna add a ra oh, random one, okay? Test motion, yes, test motion. And that's just gonna be right there. You can add it in later, like before your stop motion. And like, say you want echo in the beginning, you drop it. Okay. Okay, and then it'll show you which one, which one of these you want. You can later put your own custom photo right here. For now, I'm just gonna show you guys random photo, and you can put subtitle for this one, and that is before your stop motion now. And this last one right here, what was the last one? This is transitions. So if you wanted the transition to be a page curl right there, you add it right there, and then. The transition is page curl. This, okay, once you're up here, you're going to go to share. You're going to go to media browser. And then you're going to click pub publish however you want. I always publish in HD because now that I export it, it downgrades the quality considerably. And then you're going to click publish. Since I'm not done yet, I'm not going to click it. And after that, it's going to prepare it, and after you're done, you can go to YouTube and upload it, and it will show up as one of the options if you guys go to the proper sequence. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you actually learned something and did not just say, oh my gosh, I knew how to do that. Yeah, so thanks so much for watching. My camera is about to die. Bye.